Hey guys and welcome back to Beamer Tom and today we're going to be talking about the Range Rover Velar. So stay tuned for this video. So some of you may know or may not know the Range Rover Velar was launched early last year and it sits between the Range Rover Evoque and the Range Rover Sport. It's a style over function car in terms of it's one of the most sleek Range Rovers ever created. It's one of the most design centric cars that are out on the road at the moment and it seems to be you turn your heads every time you see one even to this day after a year you still turn your heads as they around on the road. It's very sleek and well designed, it's got exclusive things like the pop out handles, it's got a very sleek front end, a very low drag coercion and you can spec it up to be all blacked out this particular model or you can have it with like a two tone roof versus body, there's so many variations to suit your needs. So if you're looking for a car that combines the practicality of a hatchback, the driving dynamics of a sports car like my Z4 and you want the business appeal and the capability of like a 5 series the Range Rover Velar could be the car for you it seems to be a car that's able to blend looks, character, performance, practicality and style all into one package out in the road the Range Rover Velar is a comfortable car you can get it powered by both petrol and diesel units I believe there will be a hybrid later on and they've just launched an SVR V8 motor. This particular car is the D240, so that means it's a 2 litre diesel of 240 horsepower. The R Dynamic trim gives you the more aggressive body bumpers and these larger alloy wheels. This particular car, as I mentioned, is all blacked out, so it's very stealthy and Batmobile like. And it does a really good job, as I said, it's been a well all rounded car. It's one of those ones that's still eye-catching to this day. The practicality, as I said before, you can carry five adults and all the luggage in the boot. It can go off-road, you've got terrain response, so you can go between sand, mud, stone. You can raise and lower the height with the air suspension, so that means all terrain can be tackled at a touch of a button. And after a hard day of off-road, you can wash it down and you're ready for the city streets. My favourite design features of the Range Rover Velar are definitely the pop-out handles as they, they disappear back into the bodywork when you drive off. I also quite like the LED headlights and taillights. I think they're very sleek and go well with the car. As you step into the car, I quite like the two touchscreens the Range Rover have adopted. You get the digital dash, so it's very fresh and modern in here. The Range Rover Velar rivals cars such as the Jaguar F-Pace that it coincidentally shares a platform with. Also to a lesser extent the Alfa Romeo Stelvio. We've also got BMW X3, X4, Porsche Macan and the Mercedes GLC Coupe and Standard Estate format. Also the Q5 is in this kind of bracket. To an extent you could say if you spec up the Velar to the top end 300 models with maybe the HSE and all the toys and whistles when you're hitting the 80 grand mark then that's when you can start comparing it with things like the Porsche Macan um, S, you've got things like the Cayenne base, BMW X6, the new X5, Q7, maybe to an extent the Q8 and the Mercedes GLE. So I'd like to point out that the Range Rover Velar could be used as a very nice everyday car. I said if you don't want to have three cars in the driveway, then this is a very good all-rounder. To conclude this video, I would recommend it to a friend just make sure you get the upgraded seats as the standard seats seem to be a little bit uncomfortable. And I quite like the fact that you get the British flag pattern into the quilting of the seats when you choose 
let's say the upgraded red or to like the cream or the other upgraded black or whatever you wanted but anyway make sure you get the upgraded seats for the comfort I just want to say thanks very much for watching guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to give us a thumbs up, check us out on Instagram at BeamerTom and also share this video with your friends, hit that subscribe button and I will see you next video. Ciao!